heated it enough without melting it. Oh, that's good. Well, that's even a different container than that other one. Maybe they don't melt. Hopefully, right? All right. I kind of got into tinkering with electronics when uh, this high school band that a friend and I had started got a little bit more serious and I kind of was getting into like buying a lot of different effects and amplifiers and musical equipment was just cheaper and easier to come by at the time. A lot of it would break and you know maybe kind of trying to fix it. For a very long time, for years, it was just nothing but failure. And so it was like, I don't even know why I kept on trying to do it, but it would be like, oh, I think I'm gonna, you know, fix this guitar or something, it would just be worse. You know, and then there'd be that pile of things that I had just ruined. Sometimes it would be so painful and difficult to come up with a solution. And that happened a bunch of times where I would say to someone like, hey, it's gonna cost $500 and I'll you know, have it for you in a month. And it would take me like five months to be able to figure out and it would cost me all sorts of money and I would be working, you know, 12 hours a day or 16 hours a day trying to figure out how to do it. There we go. Hopefully this will work out seamlessly. Rub it off. So here we are, we're gonna go through some of these effects pedals, the supersonic fuzz gun, which uses just a few components to create a lot of sounds. Okay, so here is this circuit that I drew that I had originally designed and then this guy Robert is just fixing up the circuit board and changing the things that we changed on it to make it work with this design. You know, we'll sit and we'll have meetings and we'll talk about what everybody thinks about these kind of designs and then you eventually come to what you feel like is the final design, which is like here. I mean, that's a kind of a big thing I think about designing a pedal is like how a user is gonna interact with it. And you as the designer is really controlling, that's what the pedal is. Every single effect that you could possibly think of has been realized, or you can realize it for the most part. You know, it's just kind of what that effect, how it's controlled, and how the user is going to interact with those controls. Let's see, where is it? And I'll put in some, we have to just, we put in each one of these parts, you make sure it's kind of fitted correctly, and then bend the leads in the back, and then I'll solder it. And this kind of creates, being hand done, sort of makes this kind of like stronger and we can use like even more high quality components than like some machines would populate in some boards. And we can like find really good deals a lot of times on like military spec parts and stuff that would just be way too expensive to buy. But maybe other people don't know exactly how to source those kind of parts on eBay or Craigslist when some places, you know, has too much product and something to kind of look for some of those sort of surplus to really give people some bit of like quality that other people wouldn't normally do. They come from different places, the parts for these effects pedals. We try to do as much work as we possibly can in the US or like Canada, but you just can't do that for certain things. Sometimes we have to like design some custom parts that we use in these things and so we have to get them custom manufactured in like Taiwan and Hong Kong and stuff sometimes. So right now I'm assembling a pedal. We've built the circuit boards. We've silk screened the enclosure. And then we put in all the parts. I love learning and experimenting and figuring out why something works and how we can make these things better so that more musicians would, you know, have more options and the best kind of tools that they could have to kind of create the music that they want. For some reason, I'm always slightly like excited about these parts that are coming together and forming this thing, and I kind of can't wait to hear each and every one of them. This next pedal is a um, standard kind of sustainy sort of fuzz. It's probably our most popular pedal, and we built it to kind of make it as affordable as we possibly could. 
It's a very utilitarian and just awesome sounding fuzz. I feel like you get a really pure um, you know, vision when you do something yourself and you get to do more of those opportunities where it's a really good and smart and better opportunity. If you notice, there's a bunch of ghost delays over here which are turned upside down, which, which are ones that d didn't work you know, when we tested them or failed the tests. So they constantly, not only is it such a pain in the butt to build with all the teeny little parts that are inside of these things, then the, 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 the rate that they work is like, you know, 60% of the ones that we build work or something like that. So then you have to go open it up and diagnose it and fix it. And we do free repairs all the time, no questions asked. Death by Audio will always fix your pedal no matter what is wrong with it for free. I just feel like this is the way companies should run. Too many people are kind of manufacturing junk which you buy something with the intent that it's going to break and you're going to throw it away. And it's just kind of crummy. It's just sort of a crummy way to sort of live. I mean, sure, not everyone can afford like the nice thing that's made and by death by audio, but we own our own company and we can have the option to sort of make something that's of quality and good that people can use. So this pedal is the Ghost Delay, which is three digital echo uh, stages which run into each other. hearing someone say that Lou Reed had like turned them on to our effects pedals is why they bought a bunch and I was like that is just like crazy and they're like yeah Lou's like a really big you know pedal fanatic and he loves you guys stuff and yeah so that was pretty insane it's kind of just makes you feel like we're doing something good for people's art in sort of a good way and so even and then when you go to that concert and they put on like a crazy show you're like oh like these people are like trying as hard as they possibly can utilizing things that we build it's like just an amazing honor to realize that kind of thing yeah kind of crazy